And I just decided to post this uh, extra video uh, about something else, kind of related, kind of different, that I also talked about yesterday. Um, where does E equals MC squared come from? Well, I'm sure you've all uh, heard it, just I doubt anyone actually thought about where this uh, simple equation came from. Yeah, that doesn't look very nice, does it? Anyway, I will try to explain at least how I uh, came up with a similar equation. I don't know if it's the same way Einstein did it, but it does make sense to a degree. So, let's start. Okay, let's consider we have this object here, one small point of mass, called the mass M. Now, this is a point object, very small, very tiny. That means that it's actually technically a black hole. Now, a black hole is any time that the mass is concentrated in an area smaller than the event horizon of that object. So, that means there is an event horizon around this object. Basically, once, everything, once something crosses this event horizon, it disappears from reality, becomes part of this object. Now, again, we say that the mass of this object is M. My question is, how much energy is in this system? Well, it's kind of hard to measure it, so what we'll do is, we'll double it. We'll put another object M right here. Also a black hole with mass M. And now we can measure how much energy we have added to the system. Now if we start with these two objects very far apart, almost infinite distance, and what will happen is that each will pull the other one in the opposite direction, until eventually they will cross. And once they each touch the event horizon of the other, well, actually, closer to that, but once they do that, they become one object. But, at the second before they did that, how much energy did they have? Well, each of them had a mass M, and basically, since they were falling from infinity towards each other, or very close to infinity, their speed was the speed of light because they were touching at the event horizon. So the energy it had, each of them, <coughs> is E equals V squared M over 2. Velocity is the speed of light, and since we have two objects, each moving towards the other, the amount of energy in the system is E equals C squared times M over 2 times 2. So basically the amount of energy we have added to the system by adding another mass is C squared M. And that means the energy that we had originally in the system with just one mass in it, M, was MC squared. Well, at least that's my calculation of it. Maybe it's completely wrong, uh, but it is interesting. Um, Hope this was enjoying for uh, someone and <laughs> not completely boring. And see yeah. ya.